Hey guys and welcome MX23.1 XFCE Desktop. Today I'm going to be talking about something uh, that uh, new users might be interested in and that is a semi-transparent panel bar. I'll also talk about uh, auto hiding and intelligently hiding the same panel bar. And, uh, and some folks uh, don't know how to do this and some folks do. But uh, this is obviously geared toward the folks that do not or have never experienced that. So I will use uh, simple terms to explain all of these features and um, we'll go from there. MX23.1 XF CE Desktop. You can see my kernel info there and you can also see what I'm using for a CPU and also graphics card. I'm using an AMD Radeon RX 550. It's a four gig video card, but more importantly, I'm filming. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. I could certainly film in 38 by um, 21, which is 4K, but I'm not. Filming in 1920 by 1080, so you can adjust your YouTube player accordingly. I'm gonna use Alt and F4 to close the uh, quick info box. You are watching this on Linux for seniors. You should see an icon with a guy on it, it's round. You can click on that to subscribe if you want to. I have over 260 videos on all kinds of tips and tricks. I even showed how to make one of these in about a couple seconds. This just, uh, when you double click, it powers down the system with no questions asked. Now you can probably see my panel bar since I'm using a photo for my wallpaper or background and you can see through it. And as soon as I take my mouse pointer or cursor, it turns black. All right, I'm going to talk about those features. And then I'll talk about the difference between uh, intelligently hide, auto hide, or never. Okay, so right click, panel, preferences. I talked a lot about these features in the past. We can certainly do the increase height and rows and all that good stuff in here. But today I'm talking about appearance. And a lot of people will struggle with the combination of these two. So if you like what you see on the screen right now with this combination of see-through, then use this pattern. It's um, 64 on the leave and 100% on the enter. Okay. All right. And a couple more tips for you. If you're wanting to switch to dark mode, you can certainly do it from here. Now, I have mine set to intelligently hide the panel, the panel bar. Never is normally the default. Um, what is always? Well, always is literally hiding that thing. It doesn't matter what you do. You have to bring it back up by taking your mouse pointer downstairs. And that may be a desired effect with some people, but I don't like that feature myself, but I do am fond of this one. What is the difference between that one and never? All right, this one here, if I open up a web browser, for instance, and I go full screen, I'll just let it go into the MXS page, you can see that my web browser is top to bottom. As I scroll my mouse pointer downstairs, it reappears and goes away. But if I were to resize this, where I have a little gap in between the bottom end of my web browser or any window for that matter, and the panel, the panel stays up. And in current mode, I have it semi-transparent. As I move the actual browser window or any window close to that line and a little bit below it, it will automatically disappear. And as I pull it back up, it reappears. If I go full screen, again, it disappears. You get the idea? Okay. So these are just very simple tips, but I thought I'd throw that out there because occasionally I do have questions when it comes down to panel bars. I have shown in the past how to rearrange the furniture. So if you wanted to move the whisker menu, the MX menu from this side to the other side of the house, it's actually very easy to do. And I do recommend screenshots when you do this. The MX menu is now over here as an example of that. But the appearance section here for the opacity part, if you like the way this is um, featuring today, again, it all depends on the opacity that you're looking for. Start with some numbers that look similar to this. 
and this may be self-explanatory to a lot of folks, but some other folks will actually, well, struggle with that, trying to understand this. Okay, I'll just flip this to dark mode for a second. 100 here, 64 here. Intelligently hide over here. That would be the panel bar itself. Okay, now I'm in dark mode. So, um, in either case, we can do a lot of things when it comes down to our panels. And, uh, you know, whatever color that you want. And the menus will emulate that also at the same time. Thank you for watching.